5 ways to enjoy your time in Newfoundland. Newfoundland and Labrador is the most easterly part of North America. This province consists of an island, Newfoundland, and a larger mainland sector, Labrador. Hence, it is surrounded by Atlantic Sea. Its geological location has given it a strategic importance in transportation, defense, and also communication. Its capital city, St. John's, is actually closer to Ireland than it is to Winnipeg, Manitoba. The coastal areas are inhabited by the fisheries. These fisheries have been the single most important factor in shaping the history and character of the land and its people. Let's see what we can do for fun in Newfoundland. Number 1. Hiking The 29,000 kilometers of coastline holds stories in every step of the way. This coastline is connected with beaches, sea stacks and close to 300 hiking and walking trails including provincial and national parks. Along on your way, if you are lucky, you can enjoy seabirds, whales, mosses, and icebergs on your way. There are five regions in Newfoundland for hiking and walking. Western Region The Western Region has its own unique geological history dating back 1.25 billion years. Grossmont National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has more than 100 kilometers of hiking trails. Central Region In the Central Region, there are 70 hiking and walking trails to explore. Terra Nova National Park, closer to Clarenville, has more than 80 kilometers of trails. You can literally enjoy walking on your feet. Eastern Region Eastern Region coastal trails overlooking sweeping bays and oceanside towns with amazing sea stacks and caves. The Hike Discovery Trail Network within the communities of Kings Cove, Trinity, Port Rexton, Camp Nice West, Port Union, Elliston, and Buena Vista. Avalon Region. This region is filled with beauty, culture, and the ragged drama of sea facing peninsula. It is home to East Coast Trail with over 336 kilometers of scenic hikes. Labrador Region. Labrador Region is famous for fresh air and a truly authentic and self-reliant people. Number 2. Whale Watching Newfoundland and Labrador is one of the most spectacular whale watching places on Earth. The world's largest population of humpback whales return each year to feed on capeling, krill and squid along the coast. Another 21 species of whales and dolphins visit along with them including the mink, sperm, pothead, blue and orca. Between May and September, you can see them feed, frolic and even breach near the shores. Catching a single glimpse of these majestic mammals is an exciting and awesome experience whether it's from the deck of a tour boat, the side of the sea kayak or a seaside trail. Number 3. Iceberg Viewing when it comes to weaving icebergs, Newfoundland is one of the best places in the world. During spring and summer, these 10,000-year-old glacial giants are visible from many points along the northern and eastern coasts, especially on clear, sunny days. They come in every shapes and size with colors from snow white to deepest aquamarine. They arrive from the Arctic every spring and they disappear months later. Icebergs are edges of glaciers that have broken off and slipped into the ocean. Icebergs are pretty from far, but if you go closer, you should not underestimate them. In 1912, only 400 miles from Newfoundland coast, an iceberg like these sank the infamous Titanic. Number 4. Bird Watching Newfoundland is a major destination for bird watching. You can go closer for these millions of seabirds, rare birds, and birds of prey by land or sea. The 29,000 kilometers of coastline is a favorite destination for 35 millions of seabirds. Per annum, we can witness 25,000 gannets, 7 million storm perils hanging around the land. You can easily spot most common bird species like black lead kittiwaks, common morals. Not only that, 500,000 Atlantic puffins have their own places such as 
Witless Bay Ecological Reserve for Bird Rock at the Cape St. Mary's Ecological Reserve. Fast, smart birds like hawks, falcons share their nesting grounds in Newfoundland. Every year, few European travelers, non-native birds, get sidetracked along their journey. Number 5. Festivals and Events In Newfoundland, there are a lot of things worth celebrating. Sometimes it's about music, food, fish, film, theater, and crafts. And also there are workshops, seminars, working tours, and open performances that will educate and entertain. Mama's Festival Every December in St. John's, Newfoundland, people parade the streets wearing creepy masks, fake horse heads, and their underwear on the outside. The spectacle is all part of the Mummers Festival, which celebrates a once banned centuries old tradition in the province called Mummery. Basque Festival Basque sporting and cultural event takes place every year in August for a week. Throughout the week, there are traditional ball games, which take place by a different team every evening, an occasion for the local seniors to compete with the pelotaries invited from France and Canada and for the young generation to show off their know-how. The Cowhead Lobster Festival in Grossmont National Park Atlantic Canada is famous for lobsters. Every spring at the beginning of the lobster season, it's a tradition in Newfoundland to have a feed of fresh lobster. Spring and early summer is the perfect time of year to enjoy lobster with family and friends. Just as the weather is getting warmer and fish harvesters are bringing in their first catch of the Newfoundland spring lobster season. The Annual Strawberry Festival in Deer Lake, Newfoundland Strawberry Festival is the place to be if you are looking for tasty local Newfoundland strawberries. Deer Lake Strawberry Festival is actually the largest summer festival in western Newfoundland and also the longest running with the first one ever taking place in 1984. This relaxed Newfoundland summer festival is a fantastic pit stop during the exploration of Newfoundland's west coast. The annual St. John's Newfoundland George Street Festival. If you have heard anything about the city of St. John's, you probably already know about George Street, the biggest little bar and pub street in Canada. George Street isn't very long. It barely stretches two city blocks, but packed into that area are over 30 pubs, bars and restaurants. Throughout the summer, every night on George Street is a party, but during the St. John's Street Festival, the party elevates to a whole new level. The Newfoundland Screech in Ceremony Newfoundland Screech is used in an obligatory ceremony known as the Screech Inn. The Screech Inn is an optional ceremony performed on non-Newfoundlanders involving a shot of Screech, a short recitation and the kissing of the cord. It is often performed either in homes or more commonly in town pubs such as George Street, St. John's. In addition to these five ways, you can enjoy your time in Newfoundland by fishing, scuba diving, skiing, snowmobiling, camping, rafting, shopping, and visiting museums and so on.